Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Higher Grounds Podcast. This is your morning minute meditation for this morning. I'd like for you to take your Bibles and let's go back to 1 Peter chapter 4 again this morning. And this will be our last thought coming out of this text. And over the past several weeks, we've been dealing with learning how to live in light of the last days. And uh, we have so far walked through nine uh, points out of this chapter. And I'm going to give you the tenth and final point this morning right here in the Word of God. We have looked at the believers to live very victoriously, very spiritually, very consciously, very seriously, very charitably, very generously, very stewardably, very responsibly. And last week we dealt with the believers to live very expectantly. And uh, in other words, the believers to expect that trials and troubles and persecution are going to come. They're going to suffer uh, in this walk of life. But this morning, and I want to deal with our last thought, and I want to look at these verses this morning, verse 15 down through verse number 19. And our last thought this morning, we're going to close out with this thought. We are to learn to live in light of the last days very assuredly. Let's look at verse 15 together this morning. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. The believer is to live very assuredly in the light of the last days. In these last five verses, uh, Peter calls for the believer's evaluation. They are to evaluate themselves and uh, to see why they're suffering. We're not to question the sovereign in our suffering, but we are to question the source of our suffering. And uh, we don't have time this morning to deal with all these verses in the entirety, but we are to ask ourselves a question. Why uh, am I suffering? You can suffer uh, as a criminal. He deals with the, that in verse 15. And, uh, or you can suffer as a Christian, what it deals with in verse number 16. And so I am to evaluate my life and find out why am I suffering? Are there sins in my life uh, that cause me to suffer? Verse 17, he said, for the time, judgment must begin at the house of God. So it is time that we evaluate our Christian life and find out uh, the reason or the source of our suffering. Why are we suffering? Are we suffering as an evildoer? As we're suffering as a as one that is in the will of God and as serving God and, and living for Him? And so He is telling us that we can live assuredly in these last days, but we have to evaluate ourselves to find out the reason for our suffering because we can suffer while we're serving in the will of God or we can suffer being backslid out of the will of God. And so, child of God, evaluate yourself this morning. Ask yourself this question, why am I suffering?